So I said minimum wage is a bad policy. And the reason I said that is because making it illegal to pay less than the minimum wage does not make the worker's productivity worth that amount. Then how does this policy harm the workers? It's very simple. Businesses, the point of a business is to make profit and create solutions. Very few businesses are able to make a huge profit contrary to what a lot of people believe and say. And in order for the business to stay in business, they're going to have to often fire some workers because they're not going to be able to sustain their business on some arbitrary minimum wage. Then let's say the business is able to pay that amount eventually because of bad policies made by politicians and the government with inflation. Eventually, that minimum wage does not correlate with inflation. It doesn't, what's the word? It doesn't keep up with inflation. So minimum wage may be $20 right now, let's say. But in the future, because of inflation, it's going to devalue the dollar. So you're going to be able to buy less with your money. So minimum wage also hurts the worker in terms of inflation as well. And in the end, minimum wage does not solve anything. It doesn't solve the problem of inflation. They essentially try to blame shift inflation on businesses and say it's their fault. And they attempt to show that minimum wage is the solution. But with everything, there's trade-off. And it doesn't solve the problem. You can make minimum wage $60 and it's not going to matter because one, you will make businesses go out of business. Eventually inflation will rise again, will make that $60 worth a lot less. So they should focus on fixing inflation, not making up arbitrary minimum wage laws. And to learn more about minimum wage, because I've only shown you maybe like two points out of maybe like 10, you can study economics from people such as Thomas Saul, Walter Williams, uh, Freeman, uh, Mises, and a bunch of others. And they will go into great detail into effects of minimum wage.